Hey everyone, today is Sunday, the 3rd of July, 2011. This week's theme we're supposed to be talking about our um, favorite movie and books and how they are different. Uh, and I think my favorite movie has to be probably the third one, because I like the storyline, but I haven't read the third book, so uh, my point is not valid, and I really need to get to be reading the third book, but I haven't been able to get into it as much, and it's really bad, because I read the books out of order, <laughs> because I used to not be into reading the books, and then I um, decided, oh, well, I already saw the first movie, so I kind of know what's going on, so I'll just start on the second, and then I started to get obsessed, so here I am today. <laughs> but that is a topic for another day. Um, my favorite book has to be the fourth one, and the fourth one, I loved how Hermione, I was so mad at the movie, because I was so excited to see um, the spew, Hermione go all spew on Hogwarts, and they just didn't put that in there, and I totally would have sat there for like four and a half hours in the theater, just looking at the screen, and like, oh my gosh, this is awesome, but they didn't put it in, and now I am really upset. Another thing that kind of pissed me off was in the fifth movie, they burn the burrow down, and that does not happen in the book, um, in the fifth book, and in the sixth, and also what happens in the fifth book is Umbridge kind of expels Harry from, Ho from not from Ho Hogwarts, but she expels him from the Quidditch team, and he's not allowed to be on the Quidditch, he's not allowed to be the Quidditch captain anymore, and uh, then Ginny takes his spot. And the thing about that is that in the sixth book, we see Harry and Ginny on the same team, but nobody knows how Ginny got there. Like, just, grr, and grr, grumbles, lots of grumbles. These are themselves, I go in the theater with no expectations, so uh, I can enjoy the movie and the book at the same time, and realizing that they're totally different from each other. Um, that being said, that's just like lots of other books and movies, like, uh, for instance, when John Green said, oh, he's writing the, uh, script to Paper Towns, or whatever, and it's gonna be totally different from the movie, it's not gonna be what you're gonna expect from the book, so, you just have to go into the theater with no expectations. The same thing happened to me in Avatar The Last Airbender. My friend and I watched the entire series on TV, and then they made this movie, full-length movie, feature film, M. Night Shyamalan, and I love his work because I don't go into the movies with high expectations of M. Night Shyamalan, because he's from this area and he does low-budget films, and his low-budget films are so amazing. But that's a, that's kind of my position on movies versus books, and yeah, that's why um, going on to Twilight, which is kind of awful, but Twilight, I used to really like Twilight, and I still kind of do, like, I still kind of fangirl over Twilight, but the books, not the sparkly vampireness, but the concept is awesome, but Stephanie Meyer wrote it so horribly that it's laughable. <laughs> and I'm gonna go now, because I think this video is getting along, and I'm gonna get, I don't know, too worked up about it. So, I'm gonna go, release.